It's like I'm in my own little square in the, within the wall, like a morgue. Anyways. Ugh. Is it sunny? Yes, sunny. <laughs> These are what we were sleeping in, little holes in the wall. But I love it. How was your sleep, dude? Awesome. Great. So the plan was to go to Suicide Forest tomorrow. Turns out every hotel, hostel, motel, even near the area is all booked because of some festival going on and it's popular right now. I was like, damn, you know, I was like, what am I gonna do? I really wanna go to Suicide Forest. So I'm backtracking. I'm, the plan was to go to Suicide Forest and then Takayama, which is an amazing village in the mountains. I love villages and stuff. So what we're doing now is we're going to the village first, Takayama, for two days. And then on the 27th of April, we're coming back to Suicide Forest. I already have my hostel booked, by the way. So it's a definite 100% Suicide Forest is going down April 28th and the, no, April 27th and the 28th. It's going down 100%. So I'm super excited about that. Sometimes you gotta make do with what you got. Cause you know what? When you go on adventures, not everything's always gonna be planned out for you. So just gotta use your brain. I have this issue where I try to go to each location and see everything possible in that location and then move on to the next location. Recently I had a talk with this girl the other day about how um, you can't always see everything in one area and you just gotta learn to let go and move on to the next place. It's hard to do that for me. Like I'm always like, damn, I have to see everything. I'm not leaving until I see everything and I move on to the next spot. That's just how I am. But now I'm starting to realize that this world is so big yet so small at the same time, it's hard to explain that you can't always see everything and you gotta learn that it's okay there's more out there and to just keep on going. I'm starting to learn that now. Ramen for breakfast, you already know guys. We checked out, we got our bags, we're about to go. Takayama is over three and a half hours to get there. Oh well, it's good because I can finally enjoy an actual relaxing train ride. First one ever. I see it in the animes all the time. So one of the best things about Japan for me, being here for eight days now, is just their culture in general. They're so nice to you. They'll, they'll help you out with anything you want. Right when you approach them, they smile. No one even like steals around here. I drop my, th my stuff down. They don't even look at it or even think about taking it. It just stays there. I can walk away and come back a day later. It's still gonna be right there. It's just, it's just ridiculous. I, I'm just not used to it. I'm like, damn, what's wrong with everyone? They're all so happy and nice to me, you know? You go to America, they'll, you look at them or stare at them, they're gonna wanna fight you sometimes, you know? Over here, it's, it's not like that at all. Being here for eight days now using the system, I'm starting to get really comfortable using it where I'm starting to know what the heck I'm actually doing now. So we're buying our ticket now, we gotta take two different lines, but they're very long lines, like three hours like I said, and then we'll finally be there. I fell asleep on the first bus, I'm like hanging in there, daily vlogging man, it's not my fault. I could've went to bed but I didn't, I stayed awake and I was looking at other YouTubers videos. I'm trying to get the platform nine and three quarters found out that this is a bullet train we're going on. It's our first ever bullet train. So this is our first time taking the bullet train, but ours doesn't come for another hour. So we're just stuck here waiting for a little while. right there surrounding that if you notice um, all that underneath is the mountain but it's also suicide forest so we just got off the bullet train it says we're gonna be in Takayama around like 4 but we actually just got off the first train and it's now 4 so we still have another train to go on so we're not gonna get to Takayama until like another three hours so it's probably gonna be like 8 p.m. at night when we get there so I'm not sure if this is exactly healthy for you it's like chicken in a box but I picked it up just now because I'm waiting. Ooh, look at that, you even got a little soy sauce can right there. Okay, I guess I got some good food in my body. 
All right, everyone, this lady, she just gave us a package. We don't know what it is, but she says she wants us to share it. But for 30 minutes, I didn't understand what she meant by sharing it. So, long story, because I stopped filming. She ended up putting these in a bag for me and insisted that I take them. Like, hardcore take them. I didn't know what to do, what to say, but she was just trying to talk to me for at least 40 minutes. I didn't know what to do. Like, she just wanted me to have them. And then she was even offering them for other people. But like she just wanted me to have all of them and wanted me to share them with uh, Shane. But it was just so random, you know? This unexpected journey took all day just to get here. But we're still here. No worries, tomorrow's a big day. Now where's the hostel at? Look at this, they closed the door at 9. And it's right now, 8.30. We just got here in time. We had that good luck, at least for once. Uh, of course, for free. Yeah. We post the microwave, we make the morning coffee, oh. and also the night time or the day time, uh, free Nescafe, uh, and then the tea available, and then even the you can store your food in the fridge. Oh. Super excited for tomorrow, he already showed me pictures of how the village is going to look, I already knew about it. It's exactly one hour to get there tomorrow, it's gonna, I'm going to wake up at 8 in the morning, going right to the village, I'm super excited. Yeah, look at this, look at see? I'm on like a, the top bunk, except we're actually embedded in the wall. There's like a hole in the wall, and that's what we're in. Really sick. But anyways, I'm heading to bed. Tomorrow's going to be a great video. Sorry for the boring video today. See ya.